welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Danielle, and for today's video, as you can already tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a mixture of balayage and foilage on my client today. She also wants a subtle root smudge, so I'm going to be doing that as well. But just for starters, I'm going to be consulting with her and examining her hair. She did previously have a full head of highlights done before quarantine started, so her regrowth is quite a bit, as you can see. Her natural level hair is about a 7, so it's pretty light and her ends are about an 8 or 9 but she really wants her ends to be about a 10. I will insert her inspiration picture here. And I do always like to let my clients know that this is just an inspiration picture. It may not look the exact same, but I'm going to get as close as possible to the picture as I can because everyone's hair is different, everyone's hair lifts differently, so I always like to make sure my clients know that before we get started. And here I'm just taking a before picture. I think it is so important to take these because it's so satisfying seeing the before and after right next to each other. And like I mentioned in my last video, I feel like people on social media like to see that too, so don't forget your before pictures. And now we're just going to hop right on into it. So first I'm going to be mixing my root shade. I'm going to be using 7NA Goldwell Colorant's Demi Permanent Color. And I really wanted to use a 7NA because her natural hair is about a level 7. And I want it to look very natural when it starts to grow out. I don't want it to be like natural hair and then a big line of dark color because I just don't like the way that looks. I like when it's natural and it blends nicely during the regrowth process. So I am mixing one ounce of 7NA and it is a natural ash. So it's going to give a little bit of that cooler tone which she wants. And then I'm going to mix another one ounce of the Goldwell Colorants Lotion, which basically just acts as the developer. And then since this lotion is very thin, I'm going to use the Goldwell System Thickener Liquid. And this is basically just going to make the consistency a tiny bit thicker so that the application process is a lot easier. So now that the color is mixed, I'm going to begin my root application. And basically what I'm doing right now is taking my Moroccan oil wet brush and using the end part of it to section the hair into four quadrants. And then I'm going to take the color and outline each section before going in and taking subsections. <laughs> Now that the outline is completed, I'm going to start in the back right quadrant and I'm going to be taking diagonal back subsections and I'm going to be applying the color about an inch down from the root. I don't want it too far down and I'm not going to smudge it too far down either just because she does want to be really blonde and this is just going to give her that very natural root shade. So I'm basically just going to be doing a root retouch process as you normally would and I'm going to do this for each quadrant until every single one is completed.
once all four quadrants are completed with the root, I am now going to move on to lightener. So I am using black light cool tone today. And of course, since she wants to be a very cool blonde, I'm using the cool tone lightener rather than the extra blonde. So I'm actually going to be using two ounces of the black light lightener just because I know I'm going to need a lot of it and I'd rather do it now than halfway through have to go back and mix more. So I'm taking two ounces of that and then I'm going to be using my 10 developer from Colora or Oligo Professional and I'm going to be doing 2.5 ounces of this. So once the lightener is now mixed, I went back to my station and I began doing the partings and sections for a classic half head. So I already put in the two rectangular sections up top and now I'm just clipping away the front two side pieces and I'm leaving the entire back of her head open and I'm saving that for later and you'll see why. But I'm going to start with my small rectangular section in the back and I'm going to take about half an inch subsection and I'm going to slice it rather than weave it just because since she wants to be very blonde, slices are perfect for your blonde clients rather than doing a natural textured or placement weave. And then I'm going to take my foil, secure it very tightly up at the root, and then I'm going to begin foiling. So I like to start at the mids and feather my way up just for that nice seamless blend. And then I'll go in and fully saturate the rest of the hair and the ends. <laughs> Now that just this section is completed, I'm going to begin hand painting the sections in between each foil. And this is basically just going to add those extremely bright pops of blonde that she wants. So I'm going to take my Fremar brush, start from the mids, and fully saturate the ends and kind of just work it through. And I'm going to slightly feather it up but still leave a little bit of her natural hair to give that dimension. Now that the classic half head section is completed, I can finally move on to the balayage portion of this technique. So I broke up the back section of the hair into two quadrants, left and right, and I'm starting in the left quadrant, 
taking a diagonal back section starting from the bottom and I'm basically just going to be hand painting, doing some V's and I'm using my Fremar balayage brush to make it a lot easier for me and I'm just going to make sure I get that very nice seamless blend as well as fully saturating to get evenness. Moving on to toner, I didn't film the process because my camera died, but I used equal parts 10V and 9GI in Calora Gloss. And then once this sat for 10 minutes, I rinsed her and styled her. Just a reminder guys, this was her before, okay? And look at the after. Oh my god, I am obsessed. It came out so good. She loved it. And I really hope you guys loved it as well. Don't forget to leave this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys! Yeah.